Hi guys, Mr Gillen here and during this video we are going to look at the converse of Pythagoras. We would use this technique to prove if a triangle is right angled or not and the way that we do this is by almost reversing the theorem and we separate either side of the formula. One massive part about this particular topic and this particular skill is at the end of your answer, once you have a solution, you need to have a final statement. So keep that in mind as we look at some examples. So let's have a look at it and see if we can get the basic idea down. We have example one. And it's asking, is the triangle right angle? So we've got a triangle PQR and we've been given lengths of it. We don't have to find any dimensions. We just have to prove if the triangle is right angled or not. So the first thing that I would always be doing is, is writing out Pythagoras' theorem. And as we know from previous videos, we know that the longest side is always C and it doesn't really matter what side we make A or B, as long as it's not the longest one. At that point, what I'm going to do with my theorem itself is I'm going to split it up into a left-hand side and a right-hand side, and that's going to be left hand of the equal sign and right hand of the equal sign. So we'll start with the left hand side. We've got C squared. Well, C squared, we've got a value for C of 5, so it's going to be 5 squared, which is equal to 25. And then the right hand side is A squared plus B squared, which is going to be 3 squared plus 4 squared, which is 9 and 16, which is also 25. So, what does that mean for us? Well, we know that with Pythagoras' theorem, the a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared. So, if I get the same answer for my left hand side, as I get from my right hand side, then that confirms for me that proves that the triangle is right angled. Now we mentioned a statement and a wee bit earlier on. Once I've got my proof of whether or not the triangle is right angled, I have to write my statement so it would look like so. Therefore, the three dots mean therefore as the left hand side is equal to the right hand side by the converse of Pythagoras triangle P. Q R is right angled. And that's the statement we're looking for. We're not looking for a paragraph, we're looking for that statement. So let's look at another quick example. Again, it's asking me, is this triangle right angled? I've got all three of my sides. So what I'm going to do quickly is I'm going to label them with my longest side being C, as always, and then my other two sides. I'm going to write, before I start doing anything, what my Pythagoras' theorem is, and then I'm going to split it left-hand side and right-hand side. So for my left hand side, I've got C squared is going to be equal to 13 squared. 
So that's going to give me 169. For my right hand side, I've got a squared plus b squared, which is going to be 8 squared plus 10 squared. So I've got 64 plus 100, which is 164. In this case, c squared is different from a squared plus b squared, which tells me instantly that the right the triangle is not right angled. And again, once I've got that answer, once I've got my proof, I need to write a statement. So therefore, as the left hand side, I'm going to make a quick change to the previous one, does not equal the right hand side by the converse of Pythagoras. Triangle XYZ is not, so that's the difference this time, is not right angled. So again, just to go back over that, left hand side, right hand side, find your solution for each. If it's equal, then the triangle is right angled. If it's not equal, then the triangle is not right angled.